Welcome to the online gift of history. Thank you for joining us. We are celebrating 125 years of collecting, preserving, and sharing our community's history. The gift of history is the museum's largest fundraiser of the year. And this year, we are raising $80,000 to support the museum's mission to build a lasting connection to the Pikes Peak region by preserving and sharing our cultural history. Today, you will hear from CSPM staff members, donors, supporters, exhibit collaborators about the institution's history and why the Colorado Springs Pioneers Museum is important in our community. I'm showing my age by telling this story, uh, but when I was at high, in high school, uh, St. Mary's High School was right next to where the cathedral is today, and immediately across the street was an old Knights of Columbus building that housed the Pioneers Museum. I was uh, an incipient uh, history geek at that point in time, and I would actually wander across the street at noontime and go into the Pioneer Museum and look at all these old you know, remnants of uh, the pioneers of uh, Colorado Springs. I was fascinated by, by then, and I think that helped cultivate my interest in history. The Colorado Springs Pioneers Museum is 125 years old in 2021. We were founded in 1896 by a group of folks who got together at the Porto Centennial of our city. In 1896, they gathered, they began collecting artifacts and stories to preserve the history of this community. It took decades of advocacy for the El Paso County Pioneers Association to lobby the city and county and local officials to create the first permanent Pioneers Museum uh, at 25 West Kiowa Street in the Old Knights of Columbus Hall. The museum right from the start was really popular. People love seeing artifacts out on exhibit and when Mon McFerrin Price passed away in 1941, the collection was deeded to the city of Colorado Springs and has been a permanent part of the city of Colorado Springs under the care of the staff of the museum since 1941. One of our earliest uh, donations was this invitation to the opening of the El Paso County Courthouse. It's a great peek into the past of our community, but it's also really meaningful for us because this is now the home of the Colorado Springs Pioneers Museum, and we continue to celebrate, preserve, and share this building. A lot of these things should be shared and enjoyed by lots of people. And one of the great things about coming here is that we know they'll be cared for in perpetuity and conserved, preserved, interpreted, displayed, exhibited, uh, that's, that's exciting to me. We have over 70,000 artifacts in our collection from the smallest ring to the museum's building, which we consider our largest artifact. One of our most exciting recent donations is this really fantastic um, timepiece from the James Burns family. Jimmy Burns was a mine operator and owner um, and unlike many other mine operators and owners, he was union friendly. It's our collective property, you know, as citizens of this city. And so it's something we can all take pride in and something we all have ownership over. We have sculptures all over downtown. We have them in Monument Valley Park, Memorial Park, Evergreen Cemetery, um, as far north as George Fellows Park by the East Library, and all the way down to Quail Lake Park down south. Uh, and we even have a couple pieces in Old Colorado City. My father was a businessman who ran an architectural firm. He chose to pursue a lot of projects such as schools, prisons, airports, military installments. So pleased, just so thrilled that other people besides myself and my family think that my father is just a great man. The very first time I came to the museum, I was actually a grad student down in CSU Pueblo. Everybody from the minute that I stepped in to the time that I finished my project and I left was just so welcoming and invested in my project just as much as I was. I called mom from the parking lot. I was parked right over here by the gazebo and I was like, hey mom, <laughs> did you know that this was down here? And she goes, well, I knew it was here, but we've never been. There is so many hands-on activities that kids, not just my age, but younger can do that I feel like helps spark the creativity and the passion to learn. 
It is such a vibrant, robust museum. There's something for everybody. I'm joined by our mascot, Max the Marmot. He is fabulous, and you'll actually find him throughout the museum in different exhibits. He's been a really exciting tool to help us connect to children and help them explore local history in a really accessible and fun way. It's one thing to preserve the past, but if you're not sharing it, what's the point? How do you make it meaningful? And that's through sharing for all ages. We do these really meaningful walking tours, a scholarly lecture series. We have a lot of fun here as well. So for example, our History Happy Hour program, you can come and whether it's trivia or vintage game night, uh, murder mystery parties, we have activities that you feel connected to local history and find that in uh, to enjoy local history. I can't think of a better investment uh, than investing in the preservation of a city's history. When people think about history, they think about it existing only in the past. Our philosophy is we use history to connect people to the present and to get them to contemplate the future. And when you think about history in those terms, the work is never done. We have more stories to tell, more artifacts to collect, more relationships to build, more work to do. And it's only through your support that we can do that. The museum really has become the center for history in the Pikes Peak region and the place that people go to to understand this special place that we live in. How we've done that is through engaging the public. We engage them in many ways in our galleries, through our website, during COVID, through our remote programs, but also by asking them to support us. And the key event uh, that we do that at every year is the gift of history. And it is so um, rewarding as and humbling as the director of this institution to see how supportive people are. Thank you again for joining us. Give the gift of history by donating today.